What is going on guys? Welcome back to another sterilization video. This time we are working with aloe vera. Aloe grows very well in soil and I want to see if it does the same in tissue culture. For the eggplants, I'm going to use two small plants, one larger than the other. Take the eggplants to the sink I use tap water to remove as much dirt as possible. You can use a small brush if you want to. I do have a hose hot water filter, but regular tap water is ok at this point. You don't need a sterile or distilled water to remove the dirt from the plants. Trim the roots using a sterile knife or scissor. I'm also going to trim the leaves of the larger plant. Move the plants to a beaker, flask or Erlenmeyer flask. Add some distilled water and dish detergent to clean the eggplant for one hour. Make sure to clean the eggplants in constant agitation. I like to use a magnetic stirrer. After an hour, move the eggplants to a 1% bleach solution. In my case, 200 ml of water and 2 ml of bleach. Don't forget to add a few drops of Twin 20 or this detergent to work as a surfactant. Sterilize the plants in this solution for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, rinse the eggplants in 3% hydrogen peroxide for 5 minutes. I forgot to turn on the glad bead sterilizer on time, so I had to use the flame. Let me know if you want me to make a video on this burner. I use it every time I had to do a quick sterile work. This was the last bead of hydrogen peroxide I had. I need to get more before I sterilize more plants. With one minute left, add 1% volume of cleaning vinegar. In my case, 0.5 milliliters to 50 ml of hydrogen peroxide. Make sure to have sterile tools before moving the plants to the media. A burner like this gets hot pretty quick. Clean the flask and your hands with 70% isopropyl alcohol or 70% ethanol. Move the eggplants to the flask. Make sure to do this as fast as possible if you are not working in a laminar flow food. Seal the flask with paraffin or serene wrap. Also make sure to write the name of the plant and the date. Here are the plants. Let's hope they don't get contaminated. I feel very confident as I'm editing this video a week later and they still look very good. I will keep making updates, but I think this is a suitable protocol if you want to work with aloe plants. The goal of this channel is to make a sterilization video every week, so please make some plant recommendations and subscribe to the channel. 